Marvel versus Dragon Ball. Have you guys ever wondered what, if you took like, let's say Thor versus Vegeta, what the outcome would be? <laughs> well, in today's episode, y'all, we're gonna go ahead and satisfy your curiosity. We're gonna see who is up to the test and who is going to die. We already know, we already know how this is gonna play out. Vegeta's gonna win, and if Vegeta doesn't, the system's rigged. So, be sure to uh, stay tuned, watch the entire video. This is Death Battle. This comes to us from Death Battle, and uh, yo, Smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, let's get started, baby. Hey, uh, All right, here we go. Mad, here we go. But I pushed some buttons in your lab and now I'm in what cyberspace. You do? Looking for that elusive dislike bar that's been missing for months. But it's look what I existent bro. Beer. Okay, not real beer. It's a Digital. Bunch of emojis. Listen nice. Up, this is crazy. Emojis. Did you know that let's go ahead, let's skip through this a little bit. Approach. All right, here we go. Can contain the power of these two gods of war. Or Bruh. their egos. He's, he's ultra ego. They better tap into ultra ego. There's no way he's winning. There's no way Thor's Thor is winning. Okay. So we're going over Thor first. Milner. Because Thor is angry. Look at this. That ain't Thor. Look at that little hammer. Oh, don't we? Just kidding. For it's an old Thor. In the mythology of Marvel comics, the Norse god of thunder was reborn. Okay. Yes, I'd wager this Thor is a hell of an upgrade. I do like Thor the from the from the Marvel Thor Cinematic Thor Universe. I like Thor. Thor. I do, but I'm a I'm a Dragon Ball Z Ball fan. If now, let's say this was like Hulk or Wolverine versus Vegeta, that's a different story. I would want one of them to win. Humility and compassion and whatever. Odin exiled him. Bro, he old as he's old as heck, bro. New York. You hate to see it. Thor's as guardian body is All right, so check it. Newton hybrid, energy manipulation, weather control, superhuman longevity, invulnerability, superhuman senses, rapid healing, super breath, flight, telepathy, uh, immunity, and warrior's madness. Bruh. They're going to make this dude beat Vegeta, bro. I already know it. The way that they're talking about the, nothing, like the Phoenix Force is strong. The gravity of a neutron star. That's over 200 billion on, times greater than Earth's gravity. Y'all better scale up. Y'all better scale up, my boy Vegeta. Don't be playing. Don't put some respect on Vegeta's name. Literally on par with the God of Destruction. Okay, he ain't on par. That's Cap. That's Cap. Eons ago, the almighty god Tempest rampaged through the universe. Okay. It arrived in Asgard, and after a pitched battle, Odin managed to trap it within a block of the magical ore Uru that he would forge into his son's hammer, yep. Mjolnir. Mjolnir. can be said about this Mjolnir. Forged in the heart of a dying star. This yeah, dude, Mjolnir's kind of tight, bro. That, that, I want a hammer like that, bro. My favorite thing ever. He can channel bolts of lightning. Look at that. Contains the God Tempest. Worthy, its worthiness enchantment returns to the Thor's hand instantly. Energy absorption. God blast. Will like with this radiation, dude. That's cool. Not gonna be present for much longer, bud. He's even used two Mjolnirs to absorb the power of the God. Ooh, this dude is nice. He's nasty with it. He's nasty with it. It's Thor. Come on, bro. That's just the tip of the iceberg. Mjolnir can transmute the elements, turn Thor invisible and intangible, let him travel through time, and I mean, even bring people back to life. Mjolnir is, is that hammer, bro. But they've we've never seen that in in a cinematic universe. That, that's facts. Mm -hmm. And when he does, it flies fast enough to cross the entire galaxy in seconds. That's crazy. One problem. It's a little teeny. Unlike Thor's big ass axe, Yarnbjorn, it's sharp enough to cut. Yeah, that axe is freaking sweet. But I think maybe we're only gonna get you know Stormbreaker's pretty tight too. Okay, look, it doesn't have a galaxy storm inside it, but it's still pretty cool. Oh shit, look, Wiz. I'm worthy. No, you're not. There's no That's not how it works. on the axe. Well then what the hell am I gonna do with this? Well, but he's he worthy for an enemy beyond the light of even his world shattering strength. Thor can harness his inherent uh -huh. power into one single ultimate attack. I do like that attack, bro. Oh, wow. It's kinda cool. Right. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna front. It's kinda cool. Hey, Galactus, bro. Galactus kind of cool, though. I hope we get to see Galactus in the Marvel Cinematic Universe for show. Why do you even bother with them? Because not every problem can be solved by hitting it really Just grab the hammer, bro. That was the grab the hammer. Lesson, to force his headstrong son to confront a world more complex and nuanced than his millennia of battle had prepared him for. Thor had to be more than a warrior. Yeah, he's a... he. All he wanted to do was get drunk and fight, bro. He'd be he off that yak, man. 
The Sentry is strong enough to contend with the World Breaker Hulk, a being strong yeah, enough to is crazy the strong. over a hundred times over. Did we watch that? We did watch that on this channel. We did watch that. Within the span of flank time. That's like the tiniest amount of time that we can imagine. There are as many planks in a second as there are grains of sand on Earth. Oh, I, wait, did I say Earth? I meant 10 nope. million billion billion Earths. That's Thor crazy. Has tank disintegration beams trying to tear apart. Dang, bro. So, 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 so what they're saying is Vegeta is about to get clapped. I really hope that's not the case. My, my guys over at Dragon Ball, the, the Z Fighters got to be strong, bro. Come on, man. By entering a state known as Warrior's Madness, Thor commits an unpardonable sin in Asgardian society. And oh snap! Sacrifices his sanity for a tenfold increase in power. Would you sacrifice your sanity for for an increase in power? I don't know if I would, bro. I like being sane, for show, for show. Being worthy of his father's legacy and throne, but no matter what unbelievable shit Marvel. Hey, that was tight. That was tight, man. In Infinity War, bro, that was tight. Called the World Engine was controlling Yggdrasil. The world tree that connects 10 universe-sized realms. The world engine's purpose was to mechanically trick Yggdrasil into disrupting the natural flow of Ragnarok. Oh, so man. I love that they just tap in into all the comic book knowledge, bro. This is this is grade A content right here. And I'm just sitting here watching it and enjoying it, bro. And prevented Armageddon. Not a bad Saturday. And he'd go a step further and defeat the mysterious elder gods that manipulated the cycle of Ragnarok yep. in mm -hmm. the first place. Ending it. Forever. Thor's a, uh, he's, he's a, he's a freaking, he's a unit. I mean, he's a god, bro, so this, is this even a fair fight? Honest, honestly, honestly, am I, am I overreaching for wanting Vegeta to win this one? Am I overreaching, guys? Comment down below if y'all think I'm crazy. Planet Vegeta. Home to the hey, Planet Vegeta, the Saiyans. <laughs> Let's go. Named for their mighty leader, King Vegeta. Yes, sir. Saiyans proficiency in genocide the alien emperor king cold yep. and his freaking son frieza, frieza bro contracted them to be their personal hit score. and he would call them monkeys what you mean by that frieza but when racist frieza bro these monkeys were getting a bit too uppity for their own good for he reals though in their whole planet. he the didn't have to kill him was dead leaving his young son the prince vegeta prince vegeta oh. Burning with a grudge against Frieza. Damn. Hey, he Loki old, bro. Trained by the God of Destruction, Beerus. You see what I'm saying? And they better include his Ultra Ego. His Ultra Ego uh, transformation. Yeah, but he always chasing. He's always a close second. You know what I'm saying? Making his natural physiology significantly stronger and more durable than a human's. As in making the whole friggin' earth shake just by throwing hands. And like all dude Saiyan, got hey, dude got a big ego for show for show, man. Physical energy to make him even stronger, the key blast. and tougher than that. Or literally shoot it at your opponent to blow him to kingdom come. Well, so That's in right. the most recent manga episode like or ma manga issue, this dude, soul. you know, learned man, some new stuff, dude. bro. He got he new techniques. Fly at faster than light speeds, slice you to pieces. He get he trying to get on point with uh with Goku. Place with energy rings. So let's be real. Vegeta's favorite attacks can be summed up with Gallic Gun, laser. Uh, uh, laser. What is it? The Big Do Bang? Um, Rapid fire oh, come on, man. Laser. Exploding ball, big ass laser. And f it, omnidirectional, your ass is grass, big ass. And he's laser. very destructive, so bro. Say, it aligns with his, his personality, his, his ego. No, that's more of a Nappa thing. Kinda come like on, show me the. I want to see Alter Ego. Out of his mouth, though? That's nasty, bro. <laughs> it hurts when I breathe. Vegeta's most All right, here we go. God key. Ever, is the one inherent to but ah, uh, there we go. Transformation. Super Saiyan one ascended. Struggle, two. Super Saiyan God. Uh, blue evolved. That's ultra ego. That's. I think that's gonna be the difference. Is that ultra potential. ego is gonna no wonder, put him a level above Thor, or at least on the same playing field as Thor, because we've seen him get dog, bro. They, hey, they hold my boy Vegeta, bro. They didn't have to do that to him in that in that manga, bro. Become blonde. No battle required. Vegeta can harness the rage of his Saiyan heritage and transform. You know, you know when they're facing when Saiyans face Saiyan like two. face but like death, they might, like have a Zenkai boost, bro, and they 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 like level up beyond power. beyond their existing power level. So I think that's gonna play a factor too. Yeah, sure, dude. It better though. Nah, we'll be fine. Hope your oh, I forgot. Perfect cell, right. bro. C cell was a menace too, man. But nobody was nearly as bad as freaking Majin Buu. Becoming a god. 
Once he and Goku met the God of Destruction Beerus, mm -hmm. their they whole lives whole changed. Of martial artists to come ah, Whis, bro, with, with the freaking, uh, with spirit, the Ultra Instinct. Vegeta can forcibly absorb an opponent's key with every strike. And he even learned he did learn instant transmission. Hey, look at that, bro. I'm so glad that they put that in here. That happened. I just, I said he learned some things. He can go even further beyond and become a Super Saiyan God. A Super Saiyan God, Super with Saiyan. With blue, and yep. a Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Evolved. His power is yep. completely insane. The dude was strong enough to destroy the room. Fresh Goku in their first God. fight. Outmaneuver Frieza and his forces on Namek. Defeated Semi Perfect Cell, Frost, Golden Frieza, uh, and Topo. Oh, I forgot about his fight with Topo on the Tournament of Power. Bro, he was chunking him, man. He did really good in that battle, bro. Considering we've measured Dragon Ball's Universe 7 to be up to 13 times bigger than our own. Yeah. We need to be punching with that much more energy to bust it. And since the shock wave and they're strong, the universe they are second, strong. Goku would have had to be punching that fast too. And that's not accounting for Vegeta's training in various exponential transformations. I think I think when Vegeta can do that too, bro. Measured by how many universes it can destroy, that power itself becomes incomprehensible. So, oh, we're not how are they going to scale this? How's this going to go? Energy has. Be, don't 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 fast forward. Let me know in the comment section who you think gonna win. And erase your ass from existence okay. Yep, that's that destruction energy spiritually and even temporally as it had wiped you from time itself such is the might of a god maybe we'll see vegeta tap we'll into go one step beyond ultra ego beyond. here it goes he seizes that it's the counter to ultra instinct he becomes a warrior fueled only by lust look at that thick eyebrow bro he, he doesn't have any eyebrows but his ego. the brow of his eyes Vegeta's head wasn't big enough before his widow's peak probably look at that thing zip code by look now. at that thing bro the offensive counterpart to goku's ultra instinct ultra ego vegeta is a veritable juggernaut bro he's he just like yo i'm a tank Tank, bro. Come his way and return them even stronger. Okay, I'm excited. I better see Ultra Ego handle Thor. I swear, if it doesn't, bro, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be salty. I'm gonna be so salty. Goku was probably the best thing for him. Vegeta's whole life was spent rebelling against this training, bro. Of his race, trying to prove his this man, a 70 year old man, bro, and he out here training like he's a 20 year old, bro, going to fight for the world title. In realizing that he's a savage, more than a fighter, but a husband. And a father as well. For real, man. But he be abusing his his son, man. Most. Poor Trunks, man. Vegeta got a taste of that himself when he hooked up with Bulma for some Super Saiyan sexy time. Oh, 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 golden oh. Ass probably didn't hurt either. He may not always win, but he'll never be put down for long. So be for, sure to this is facts. your groveling because this is one prince you don't want to piss off. Absolutely facts, bro. Yo, they they hit it. They hit it right this on the head. But let's get past this ad. Out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're ready to battle, baby. Now, let's just listen. Let's listen. Ooh, I already like the way this looks. All right, look at my boy Thor. What's he doing? Let's cut up the, let's cut up the volume. Damn, Vegeta, chill. Ooh. Oh, there, mighty warrior. What business have us thou upon Earth? Throw that hammer at me again, and my business will be polishing my gloves upon your face. Damn, okay. Okay. Yup, chunk him. Oh, he powering up to. Okay, no, no, I'm about to say. Oh, he a base form. Ooh. Okay, they they chunking him. Oh, they chunk. Oh, yup. Look at all the key blasts. Oh, damn! One little electric shock. Oh, he pulled out the axe. What the hell did he pull that axe from? His cheeks? Bruh, he just caught the axe. Oh, he blew. He went blue. Straight to Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Beyond gods. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Okay, okay. Damn. That's what I'm saying, Vegeta. Hit him with that. Hit him with that stick. Oh my god, bruh, I'm sorry. Yo, <laughs> I love Dragon Ball Z. I don't know. Got Goku up there somewhere. I got Brawly over there somewhere. Big Dragon Ball Z fan. Watch out there for watch out for the hammer, bro. <laughs> he tried. He tried to catch it, bro. Oh, Ultra Ego! Let's go! Dude, he's enjoying it, bro. That's that Saiyan pride. Ain't no way. 
ain't Does a god such as yourself feel fear? Ain't no way! He just he just tanked a hit from Milnir, bro. Like it wasn't nothing. Don't tell me he Hakai Thor. Oh he oh he he chained his hands? He chained his hands like he did Goku. Ah, he got the he got the ultra power upgrade right there. He, he's mad. He's going madness. Dang. Oh shoot. Yo. <laughs> okay. Oh bro, this is a dope head to head. This turned out They're about to destroy the universe. It's gonna be a stalemate. They're both about to die. Oh, <laughs> yo, he just, oh, Thor's done. Hey, it's over. It's a wrap. My boy Thor just got clapped. He survived. Oh, no. He hit him with that same, hit him with the same words that he took. Nah. Nah. That was rigged. That was rigged. That was rigged. Hey, Thor remains victorious, bruh. What the heck, bro? Dang. That was a violent way to go out. Because he's a natural blonde. Despite Vegeta's immense power and tenacity, the God of Thunder had him outmatched in several key areas. Nah. The big one who was stronger despite being up against Nah, bruh. Vegeta actually matched up pretty closely with Vegeta is strong though. Far in excess Let me know if y'all agree with this, bro. Listen, Get listen, out. I ain't even gonna hold y'all, bro. Y'all already know how I'm feeling. I'm a little salty. This video, fantastic. 10 out of 10. But why y'all why y'all hold my boy Vegeta like that, bro? Yo, Vegeta stay losing. He stays losing. Bro, I'm yup. Y'all know how I feel. Y'all know how I feel. But I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, man. Big shout out to Death Battle because this was a really fun episode. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So be sure to show Death Battle some love, man. While you at it, show me some love. Hit that subscribe button if you're new. And uh, yo, hit that like button one time for your boy. You know what I'm saying? Run them likes up. Help your boy get in the algorithm. But until next time, my friends, I'm going to catch you on the next episode, baby. Peace.